Hello, everybody. You may remember back in the spring, we had a chat with Stuart Ruff, a family lawyer with Thackeray Williams, a solicitor based in Seven Oaks in Kent. Well, Stuart is back today. Hello, Stuart. Hi, Helen. Nice to see you again. And you too. Um, and today we're going to talk in a little bit more detail about divorce um, and proceedings that we need to go through. Um, I've got a few questions to ask you, if that's OK. Um, I'm sure you'll have all the answers for us today. <laughs> Hope um, so. So first of all, what are the grounds for divorce? Well, there's actually only one ground for divorce, and that's the irretrievable breakdown of the marriage. But you have to show that the marriage is irretrievably broken down. And there are five ways that you can do that, and you pick one of these five ways. Currently, it's the other person has committed adultery, or they have behaved unreasonably, or you have had a period of at least two years apart. They make up the remaining three of the five grounds, and you rely on one of those five. But as from April next year, there's actually a shift in the, the way that divorce works, so that you don't have to attribute blame. But obviously, basing it on adultery or behaviour is alleging the other person has behaved badly. But in April next year, they are removing the blame element and it's permissible just to say that the marriage is broken down and both parties can actually apply together for the divorce to go through. Okay, okay. Um, what's brought about that change? There's long been pressure for no-fault divorce to be brought into effect because sometimes divorces and marriages break down not for any particular reason mm. and it's being considered to be a little unfair to try to blame someone if in fact there hasn't been blame to make as it yeah, were sure. so this is the culmination of a lot of pressure that has been brought to bear over a number of years that has finally decided to remove the blame element from divorce okay and how long do divorce proceedings take Stuart well, the divorce proceedings themselves are actually very straightforward and provided it's not defended and the other person doesn't take issue with it, the actual divorce can be dealt with in maybe three or four months. And it's purely, it's purely a paperwork exercise. It's a case of filling in the right form and submitting it to the court at the right time. What tends to take the time, though, is resolving any issues regarding the finances and any arguments about children. And that can sometimes have a bit of an impact on how long the actual divorce itself takes. So if it's a straightforward divorce, it can take sort of three to four months. But if it's slightly more complex, then it takes longer. Yeah, essentially, yes. OK. okay. And do, do the... Um, do the people involved need to go to court throughout this process? You only have to go to court if there is a disagreement about something right. and you need the court's input to help you resolve it. Okay. Now, in the case of a divorce, it's very rare for a divorce to be defended. So almost certainly not. It's a paperwork exercise. Whether or not you have to go to court to to get help resolving the finances or any issues about children mm -hmm. depends entirely on whether you can reach an agreement with your other sure. person or not. Sure, okay. Um, and this is um, a question that I just thought of. Um, what is a judicial separation? I've come across it. I just wondered if you could help answer that for me. Yeah, well, a judicial separation is a form of marital separation, but it's very rarely used because it doesn't actually legally bring the marriage to an end. It's effectively right. just a separation. Right. So for many people, that obviously defeats the object of the exercise because it doesn't yeah. legally end the marriage. It tends to be used by people who might have particularly strong views about divorce, maybe for religious or cultural reasons. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, but because it doesn't end the marriage, it means that someone is not free to remarry. And whilst the court can still make financial orders, as it can in divorce proceedings, 
things, it can't make any orders in respect to pensions. So it's very rare for people to use judicial separation proceedings instead of divorce proceedings, because ultimately there eventually has to be a divorce to legally end the marriage. Sure, sure. Okay, that's much clearer. Thank you. Um, and just um, on civil partnerships, what if, if a civil partnership breaks down, do they have the same rights? How, how does that work? Yeah, essentially, it's exactly the same as divorce. Okay. It's just there are a few things that are called different things, but essentially, other than terminology, it's basically exactly the same. And the same rights, claims, etc., apply equally to divorce and civil partnership. So there's no real practical difference. Okay, um, that's good. And um, just finally, I think, um, can you change your mind if you start proceedings and you decide? Actually, you don't want to go through with it. Can you change your mind? Yeah, absolutely you can. The document that legally ends the marriage is called a decree absolute. And that's the very last thing that you do to end the marriage at the end of the process. You can change your mind at any point up to the decree absolute being made. Okay, great. Well, that's been really, really helpful. Thank you so much. Um, for talking to us today about that. I know when we spoke back in the spring, I forgot to mention this earlier, but we did talk about Sacre Williams and what they offer, um, the, the, the services that they offer. And obviously divorce proceedings is part of that, um, part of one of the services. So um, what I will do is I will include the link um, for that chat that we had as well, if anyone wants to find out what that Cray Williams offers overall. Um, but if they do want to talk specifically about divorce, how should they get in touch with you? They can either get in touch with me by calling me directly or dropping me an email or okay. via the firm's website. Okay, that's probably a good starting point, isn't it, Stuart? Yeah, absolutely it is, yeah. Okay, well, thank you very much for your time today. It's been lovely to see you. No, absolute pleasure, thank you. And um, I look forward to chatting with you again soon. Absolutely. Thanks, Helen. Take care now. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.